Hey guys and welcome to my fourth video. In this one I'm going to go ahead and show you how to work with the 3D graphics that are come with Ubuntu. Now the first thing you'll need to know is to install a little program called Compass Config Simple. We will go ahead and install it. We're going to use the Ubuntu Software Center which is right here. Go to Applications and this selection here. Click on that. Let it open up. Now in this little dialog box in the top right, just click Compass Simple and you can see it right here. Uh, simple Compass Config Setting Manager. I already have it installed with the little check mark here. But you will have to just click on that arrow and then click on this button here which will, for you, this will say install. So just click on install. I already have it so it's going to say remove for me. I'm not going to actually install it. But it's just how you install it. After you're done installing, or of course it will ask you for your password before installing, put it in, install it, and after you're done installing, uh, go ahead and close the window and go back to your desktop. Now we're going to go ahead and click right on the desktop, change desktop background. Now we're not going to change anything here. We're going to go to visual effects in the very end. A little new uh, uh, selection will be available for you. It is called the custom. You can go ahead and click on that. Now you can just go ahead and click on the preferences right next to it and a little, another window will pop up and kind of give you a little idea of what we can do. Now the first window here is the info and it's going to tell you how much animations you have currently enabled, how much effects you have enabled. Uh, slower computers definitely need less animation and effects. Uh, of course that depends on how slow the slow computers I mean maybe two, three, four, five years old um, because even the oldest like even the not so new computers can run Ubuntu pretty efficiently with all the animations enabled. We have a, what kind of desktop we have. We have a desktop wall. We have what accessibility is zoom and color filter. We only have the zoom enabled. Uh, this is zoom is when you hold the Windows key and you scroll with your middle mouse button, <coughs> it'll zoom in and out. Up here we have a profile where we can change different level of graphics that we want. Um, I mean, basically, ultimate is every single graphic enabled and it's quite cool but I'm gonna go and show you how to customize it yourself so the next area here is animations these are animations for your windows um, I'm gonna go ahead and enable extra I like the extras this is what happens when you open a window let's go ahead and test it out right now you see it kind of pops out from nowhere that's the glide too we can have a dream let's go ahead and open it again you see how it kind of like waved into existence I believe there you go, you can see it again. We have exploding. And we have a lot of other ones. I myself, uh, I like the curve fold, I believe. Yeah, I'll stick with the curve. And that's going to be for close or opening. Closing, you can do, I don't know, whatever you want. There is a burn up, which is pretty cool. Here's the open. And here's the close. Pretty, pretty. Uh, we can also do a focus window effect. I'm going to do dodge. I like dodge. This is basically when you have multiple windows stacked on each other. Uh, they will dodge out of the way when you focus on another window. You can see how that works. My, the graphics might not come out well in this video, but you definitely see how it works when you um, put it into play yourself. And for minimizing, I like the magic lamp and I'll show you what it does basically you just click on the minimize and it minimizes to this icon down here see how it kinda leaves a trail to where it's going which I like that so I'm gonna leave it like that that's the animations for your windows the next part is effects we have the switchers <coughs> this is the basic uh, application switcher the alt tab as many of you know it we can change that we can do a cover this might be more familiar to your Mac operating systems uh, it's pretty cool of course we have the flip which is more in lines of the windows operating system you can see how it works like this and we have a application switcher that's kind of a generic name but this one is more um, graphic oriented it's how they pop out into you or in your face kind of show you this is who I am what I am what I do etc and oops, wrong window and uh, we also have the ring switcher which basically shows us a little ring of the applications depending on what your flavor is, what you like. This is all for customization, it's all for you, do whatever. We have right here uh, additionals. 
additions. We have Expo and Scale. I'll show you what these two later on. Uh, we have Blur, which I don't like that much. It's kind of pointless. And we have the Wobbly, which some people find it quite interesting. Uh, the Wobbly window, as I showed it in the last piece. You can enable and disable it here. Desktops. We can have a lot of desktops. We can have 9 by 9 but this is only for this uh, one application. We can actually have 16 by 16 which is much too much for a lot of people. Right now we have the desktop ball enabled. You can see as we switch desktops from one to the other we have this little wall coming out in the middle. It'll tell us where we are exactly on the desktop. <coughs> we also have um, a cube. I'm sorry if the, the voice kind of doesn't work as well it's because of the video recording it's not that great but you can see this is a cube it's kind of deformed and we'll go ahead and do a none fun deformation and here's a little cube uh, the graphics seem to somehow mess up my voice and kind of delay with the video so now that's pretty much the windows we can have enable 3D windows that come out at you and that's basically it for the desktops I'm gonna leave it at the wall Accessibility, we have the zoom, the area zoom, zoom in and zoom out. You can actually set the um, keyboard or mouse shortcuts. And we have the edges. Edges are great. You can set each of these edges, left, right, up, down, and then the corners to different settings. I myself love the Expo and the uh, Window Picker. Scale, basically. Those are the things I showed you earlier. If you select this for the top left, when you go to the very left, or every time you just slide to the very left corner, your windows kind of, you know, organize themselves right in front of you. Like, oh, well, look, I have all these windows open. And, of course, no matter how many windows open, they'll all find a way to organize themselves. The Expo, on the other hand, does more of a desktop organization. See, I just selected it for the top right. Now I just go ahead and move all the way to the top right. And as soon as I get there, I can see all of my windows open up right in front of me. And I can just drag and drop. Uh, dragging doesn't work on uh, this video recorder. We can drag your windows from here anywhere on the screen and organize yourself. And that's it for the edges, and that's it for the simple Compass Config setting manager. I will be going through the more difficult um, Compass Config setting manager, not the simple, but the more difficult one. Or it's called advanced, you know. But for now, that's it. I hope uh, you watched and you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something out of it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.